Oh, it's a sea bass. It's a baby sea bass. It's a baby sea bass. Baby? That's a baby? Be easy with it, be easy. <laughs> this is a pretty rare creature for this part. Little baby white sea bass here, beautiful fish. You just gotta be delicate with them. Pretty sure this guy's short. We'll measure him to make sure. These guys get up to like 80 pounds. It's beautiful. He's short. So we're gonna let this guy go. Hopefully he doesn't get eaten by a sea lion. I'm gonna take him up towards the bow. Hopefully we can let him go. Without him getting eaten. So hopefully we can let this guy go here without the sea lions finding out. See what we got here. Yeah, it looks legal. Oh yeah. Finally. Nice legal fish here. All right. Nice legal sculpin here. Exactly what we're looking for. These bucktails work perfect for him. It's gonna be delicious. Let's take a little break from the action here and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish we're catching. This week in the galley, we're down in Long Beach, California, aboard my boat. Standing next to me is Chef Rock. Hey, Chef. Stand the man. How are you, my friend? Good, man. Nice to see you. It's been a lot of years. How many? Too many. Too over many. 20 years. But we've known each other over 30. Yeah, it's been wow. a long time. Wow. What are you going to cook for us today, Chef? Well, you Chef? know what? We're on the water here. I got some calico bass that you caught. Right. I think it's time to cook it up. Okay. Simple, old school. I melted some butter in the pan. You see it foaming, and you're seeing it start to turn. If you can see this, light brown. They call that brown butter. Mm -hmm. So it's really great when you're cooking fish because it imparts that nice flavor rather than just that straight butter. So I got it boiling away. You'll see that foam start to come to the top. And I got that beautiful calico, calico bass. bass. I removed all the bones. I'm gonna make sure it's on high heat. And I'm gonna put that fish right in. And you wanna make sure that heat is up there because the cold fish will bring the temperature down in the pan. Pepper on top. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, firm, white fish, mm -hmm. and any flavor you add to it is going to just be stupendous. I mean, I'm going to flip these little bad boys over. Oh, man, it's already cooked. Yeah. Oh, they're it separated. Cooks, it cooks real quick in these pans, and you want to flip that over. So I like to glaze it a little bit, so we made a little Chef Rock glaze. Okay. It's half barbecue, half sweet Chinese chili sauce, sesame seed oil, a little bit of soy, Ginger, garlic, and some green onions. It's uh, like the perfect little glaze for fit. <laughs> they look like they're already cooked. Yeah, they are. You can serve it up any way you want. I just like the couscous. And if you want to hold the plate, I will dish it up. Okay. And you can smell the flavor of all that fish. Mmm. Very, very nice. And as you said, this is a bit of a specialty fish, you know? Mm -hmm. You can only get it when you're sport fishing. Yeah, this thing's popping. It's popping because it's hot, baby. So what do you do with the hot oil or butter when you're on the, on the boat? Uh -huh. What do you normally do with it? You gotta put it in a container, right? Yeah, and, and take it all the way home. You didn't forget it. Fog safe, newest and greatest thing for boats. Mm -hmm. Just put it down, pour it in. It'll absorb it all. Right inside that little thing, you throw the whole dang thing away, and you're good to go, baby. Well, Chef, this looks delicious. Oh, fantastic. I'm sure it tastes just as good as it looks. Oh, man, you can tell it's cooked. It's right. falling apart. Perfect, perfect. People always overcook their fish, right? If you do it gently like that, it's cooked all the way through, all the moisture flavor still stays. Yeah, this is a beautiful dish. Remember, calico bass is one of those fish you can't buy in the market. You have to go out and catch it or have a friend give it to you. But if you don't have calico bass, do the same dish with rockfish. This is a great dish. Thanks. My pleasure, my friend. Thanks Always a lot, Chef. Great to see you, my friend. All right. Enjoy. Look for Chef on, on TV when you're in Hawaii and see him around the country, too. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.
So Skipper just made a move. Now we're closer to the beach. You can see the city of Long Beach right behind us there. So now we're no longer fishing on the bottom for sculpin. We're on the surface and I just got bit on a sardine. Let's see what I got here. Should be a nicer fish. Might be a nice bass. Could be a barracuda. Never know. So I got 20 pound fluorocarbon on, a three aught circle hook, and I had a nice big sardine on there. Let's see what I got here. Here comes color on my fish. Ooh, it looks like a nice bass. There we go. Legal bass. Now, most people would hook them in the mouth, but I want you to see how good I am at this. Andy, come see this. It's not even in the mouth. No, it's not even hooked at all. I roped them. The line's going through his mouth, but the, he never ate it. I lassoed him. Another calico bass here. Pretty steady bass fishing. Just gotta pick through these shorter guys, get some nicer ones, and some barracuda on the mix as well. Dan's bit. There's another fish. That might be a barracuda. Oh, got away. That was on a bucktail. Yeah. Lots of fish around. Just gotta pick to the bigger or the smaller ones to get to the bigger ones there. It's working. Looks like it might be a keeper here. There's the line. There's a the fish. Just n n another technique on how to catch fish. It's hard to do. It takes years and years. 31 years on TV to learn how to lasso a fish like that. All right. Got one on the jig. nice barracuda here at the end of the day starting to come up now eating the jigs pretty decent for the guys that got them here we go the spot we moved in here is going really good for the calicos our captain andy's got us on a nice spot and they're eating sardines anchovies everything i might even try an artificial here in a little bit Let's see what i got here this might be something a little bit bigger no, I think it's a nice bass. Here it is. Here we go. Nice, big, beautiful calico bass. And I use a circle hook because I got bit off by a barracuda earlier. But 
this is what we're trying to catch. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the Enterprise. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week.